Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the MLB All-Star Ballot is now live on MLB.com. I don't know if it just went live today or if it's been live for a couple days or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cast our first wave of All-Star votes. And the reason I say first wave is because I'm actually going to do this video as like a two-parter. So I'm going to do uh, my first go around on the ballot today and then it says right here, here voting ends July 5th 2018 so on the 4th of July or somewhere around there I'm gonna do another video in case anything changed because for example I'm just gonna spoil something I can already tell you for the National League first baseman I'm probably gonna be voting Brandon Belt but uh, if Brandon Belt has a bad you know bad run from here until July 4th and, and Joey Votto like is is killing it you know the vote may change so it'll be interesting to see what my votes look like now compared to what they look like closer to the actual end of the voting so this is what we're gonna do today in the comments let me know if you voted for somebody different than who I'm voting for let me know your reasoning behind it just you know go ahead and feel free to leave it down in the comments so here we go let's get into it so first off we got first base and I'm gonna start with the National League just looking at the National League uh, Brandon Bell is really really good right now 309 with uh, 11 home runs 31 RBIs Freddie Freeman is right there too with uh, nine home runs and 40 RBIs with a 335 average. It's a close race, but I'm leaning towards Brandon Belt. Uh, I just feel like Brandon Belt's been been really good for the Giants this year. Freddie Freeman is has been really good for the Braves. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like Brandon Belt um, is gonna get my vote for this one, so he's gonna be my National League first baseman. All right, over at first base, there's a couple different guys I'm looking at for the American League. Mainly the two guys. I'm eyeing are Jose Abreu and Mitch Moreland. Um, the reason is because I like a first baseman to really have a lot of uh, like offensive production over at first base. I feel like that's a really offensive heavy position. Um, so for me, uh, having good home run and RBI numbers mixed with also being or having a good average, I think that's really important. So Jose Abreu, he's hitting just about 300 with nine bombs and 31 RBIs. Miguel Cabrera is hitting 323, but he's only got three home runs and 21 RBIs. I'd like to see a little bit more. Uh, home run RBI numbers out of him for me to for him to get my vote plus he's only got 93 at bats and then uh, you know you got Mitch Moreland 302 he is hitting over 300 with eight home runs and 27 RBIs but I'm gonna go with Jose Abreu because he does have over 200 at bats he's been really consistent he's almost hitting 300 so Jose Abreu and Brandon Bell are my two first baseman picks all right, second base, since we started with the National League for first base, let's start with American League for second base. So I think Jose Altuve is, is kind of the front runner for me right now. No real surprise there. D. Gordon's hitting 302. Um, I don't know why they have him listed as a second baseman. Maybe, I mean, he hasn't even been playing center field. I don't think he changed to second base for since Cano got out, but I couldn't, I could be wrong about that. But I think Jose Abreu, or I'm sorry, Jose Altuve is kind of my clear cut favorite. Glaber Torres is having a great start to the season as well. Um, um, but you know, he doesn't have that many at bats yet. He's only got 113 and Altuve has a better average and more at bats. Like I think Altuve is kind of the, the easy pick right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take him. So the National League, let's take a look at who we've got right here. We've got Albies, who's hitting 278 with 14 bombs, 35 RBIs. Really good stuff right there. Baez has 43 RBIs, hitting 271. As Drupal Cabrera has 10 home runs, 34 RBIs. Scooter Jeanette hitting 343 with 10 bombs, 38 RBIs. Like, dude, there's a lot of different options you could go with right here. Um, I think the, the two that I'm really looking at are Albies and Scooter Jeanette. But it's tough, man. Um, just going off these stats alone, I don't know. Uh, man, 343 with 10 bombs, 38 RBIs. Um, I'm going to go ahead... I'm going to go ahead and lean over to Scooter Jeanette because uh, Ozzy Albies has 14 home runs and 35 RBIs uh, in 241 at-bats, and Scooter Jeanette has more RBIs and less at-bats with a better batting average. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Scooter for second base for the National League. All right, shortstop. Let's start off with the National League this time. We've got Brandon Crawford, who's having a really good year, hitting 307. We all know how good Brandon Crawford is defensively. Trey Turner is not having a too bad year, hitting 268. Uh, that could be that could come up a little bit for him. Paul DeYoung uh, hitting 260. Honestly, though, I think Brandon Crawford is is the guy right here. You know, he's having a, a much better offensive season than he's had in the past, hitting over 300. Still great on defense, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and give the edge to Brandon. 
Brandon Crawford in this one, and that's going to be my second Giants infielder out of, you know, the four different infield positions. For the American League shortstop, uh, I think... Manny Machado is the guy to go to. Yeah, 324, 16 bombs, 45 RBIs. Simmons is also having a killer year. 337, four home runs, 32 RBIs. Um, Gene Segura hitting 339. He's really good. But I, I think Manny Machado is like he's just doing it. He's doing it all. He's got the um he's got the average, he's got the home runs, he's got the the RBIs. I think Machado for me is kind of the front runner and not necessarily the easy pick, but the the pick that I think makes the most sense. Andrelton Simmons is probably my second place uh, bet for that. All right, third base for the American League. We've got Miguel Andujar, Tim Beckham, Beltre, Bregman, Candelario, Chapman, Cozart, Devers, Donaldson, Duffy, Moustakis, Ramirez, Sano, Seager, and Sanchez. Moustakis is having a pretty good year uh, over there, but Jose Ramirez has got 18 bombs, hitting 302 and 212 at bats. Um, Adrian Beltre, 321. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and lean towards Jose Ramirez right here. I think my second place bet would probably be Mike Moustakis, uh, hitting uh, 12 home runs, 39 RBIs. Um, th uh, third base is a lot like first base for me. I expect a lot of... Um, Offensive production there and I think Jose Ramirez is doing it all with the average the home runs and the RBIs Jose Ramirez for me is the third baseman for the AL all right as far as the National League We've got Arenado Bryant uh, Camargo Carpenter Franco Frazier Lamb Longoria Moran Prado Rendon Shaw Suarez Turner and Villanueva uh, Suarez hitting 306 with 10 home runs and 43 RBIs. He's having a really good year. Uh, so is Arenado. Um, 10 home runs and 43 RBIs and 147 at bats, man. That's really good. Uh, it looks like overall, I mean, Arenado has about 40 more at bats than, than Suarez, and Suarez has almost the same offensive numbers. He does have more RBIs, uh, and the average is, you know, a little bit lower than Arenado. But mm, this one's tough, man. Third base, um, 11 home runs, 34 RBIs, 319 average, two stolen bases. Man, this is kind of hard. I really don't know who to go with right here for third base. I think these are the two choices, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and go to baseball reference and look at a little bit more in-depth statistics. So give me a second. Gosh, dude, this is so close. Suarez is leading in slugging in the National League. And Arenado is leading in OPS. Like, dude, this is so difficult. Oh, man, this one's really tough, guys. I honestly don't know which one to go with. I think I'm going to go with Nolan Arenado just because he's got a higher average and more at-bats. Like... That's really it, and he's got he's leading the uh, the National League in OPS. I think I'm just gonna go Arenado, but that one's honestly just a coin flip, man. It could easily go to uh, to Suarez right now, but you know, sorry to my Reds fans, I, I just I'm gonna go with Arenado. Alrighty, catcher. So let's go ahead and start off with the National League. We got Alfaro, Avila, Tucker Barnhart, Francisco Cervelli, Wilson Contreras, Yasmani, Austin Hedges, Ionetta, Mezzarocco, Yadi, Pena, Posey, Real Muto, Suzuki, and Weeders. All right, let's take. A look here. So as far as like just offensive numbers, uh, Real Muto is hitting 312 with six bombs and 18 RBIs, a little shining spot over there in Miami, you know, the rough year that Miami is uh, supposed to be having. So uh, that's pretty good right there. And as far as that, that's pretty much the highest um, like average you're going to get. But then you got Francisco Cervelli, who's, hey, uh, who's got eight home runs and 33 RBIs. Um, well, this is going to be another tough one, man. For me, catcher, I don't really care as much about average. Uh, I would like a little bit of offensive production. Um, for me, I think for this one, I'm probably going to go with Cervelli. Um, Grandal also has eight home runs, 29 RBIs as well. But I think I'm going to go with Cervelli. He's got a good, decent average at 283. That's better than decent. Um, eight home runs, 33 RBIs. Real Muto has the average, but I think overall, I think Cervelli is kind of putting together a little bit better year for me personally. All right, for the American League, we got Chirinos, Garver, Gomes, Lucroy, Maldonado, Martin, McCann, McCann, uh, Nav Narv I don't even know who that is, uh, Perez, Ramos, uh, Chancisco, Sanchez, Vasquez, and Zanino. Um, all right, so let's see who who. Who's putting together a good year for catchers in the American League? Sanchez, of course, has the 12 home runs, 35 RBIs. The average is super low. Uh, Wilson Ramos, 7 home runs, 28 RBIs, hitting 313. Good for him right there, man. Um, 
he's kind of where I'm leaning towards right now looking at these and remember these don't have any defensive statistics attached to them so you know some of these guys might not be the best defensive players but looking at straight offensive numbers I think the one I'm gonna go with right here for the American League that's really like you know just uh, that really catches my eye is Wilson Ramos not only has he got 28 RBIs with seven bombs but he's also hitting 313 he's doing a lot more than just hitting for for power and, and you know for like slugging he's he's hitting for average a little bit too so we're gonna go ahead and go with Wilson Ramos for a catcher in the American League all right next up we got designated hitter of course you can't really um, do anything about that for the National League but we got uh, Shinsu Chu CJ Crone Nelson Cruz Cuthbert Davidson Chris Davis Edwin, Evan Yaddis, J.D. Martinez, Victor Martinez, Kendrick Morales, Logan Morrison, Otani, Stanton, and Alvarez. And as much as I want to vote for Shohei Otani, you've got to go with J.D. Martinez right here. 317 with 18 home runs, 47 RBIs. You just got to give the man credit. I would love to see Otani as a designated hitter, but chances are if he gets in the All-Star game, it's probably going to be as a pitcher. But uh, you, you, can't just, you just can't not vote for J.D. Martinez as a DH. He's literally one of the best hitters in the game right now. All right, outfield. This one's going to be fun. Let's start off with the National League. So you get to choose three different players, and there is a lot of choices. Oh, my goodness. So I think the first guy, without even looking at I think is hands down an all-star in the National League right now is Nick Markakis. There, where is he? Yeah, there he is. 333 with seven bombs, 38 RBIs. He's been having an amazing year. I definitely think Nick Markakis is an all-star right now. Another guy that I think is very much on all-star level is, uh, where is he? Odubel Herrera. 313, seven home runs, 32 RBIs. He had the uh, the on-base streak, which was insane. And uh, I, I think he's playing up to all-star level capability right here. I think Odubel gets in there as well. And as far as the last pick, there's a couple guys I'm really looking at right here. I'm looking at Matt Kemp as well as AJ Pollock. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. 293 with 11 home runs, 33 RBIs for AJ Pollock and then 343 with seven home runs and 30 uh, RBIs for Matt Kemp. That one's tough for me because Pollock has the, the home runs and RBIs over Kemp and then uh, Kemp has the average all the way up to 343. Um, 169 at-bats for Kemp, 150 for Pollock. Let me go ahead and look at some defensive stats real quick. It's tough because Matt Kemp is leading the National League in average, but... Um, He's not playing as well defensively according to his defensive war as somebody like AJ Pollock, who's almost a half a win player just defensively. So, man, this one's another tough one. I'm going to go ahead and, and lean towards Matt Kemp, honestly. I think I think Matt Kemp should get it right now with how he's doing, you know, leading the National League in average. Him and Nick Markakis just hitting the ball extremely well. I think this is my National League outfield. Markakis, Herrera, and Kemp. AJ Pollock could have gotten in there. It's just, you know, these are the guys I went with. All right, for the American League, we obviously know two ones right off the bat. Mookie Betts, we don't even have to, whoops, that's not Mookie Betts. <laughs> that's Byron Buxton. Mookie Betts, obviously, and then, of course, uh, Mike Trout. Easily the, the top two ones that you've got to put in there. And as far as the third outfielder, let's take a look at some of these stats. Michael Brantley is playing really well, hitting 337, nine home runs, 36 RBIs. Uh, Castellanos is playing good. Um, who else do we got? Mitch Hanniger, he's got 41 RBIs right now with 11 bombs. Um, Nomar Mazzara, 13 home runs, 37 RBIs. You know, there's a lot of good offensive production in the outfield this year. Even Eddie Rosario, 308 with nine home runs, 33 RBIs. Trumbo hitting three at what? He's only got 89 at bats. Never mind. You got Springer too. He's hitting like 281. The average isn't quite up there enough for me. Um, for me, I'm really leaning towards either Michael Brantley or Mitch Hanniger. And I'm going to go ahead and and go towards uh, Michael Brantley, I think, because Michael Brantley has been injured in the past, and it's nice to see that he's back playing at a high level. And I think it'd be fun to see Michael Brantley back in the All-Star game. So I'm going to go with Brantley, Trout, and Betts in the outfield. All right, so just a quick review on my ballot. I've got Abreu and Bell at first base. This could have easily been Freddie Freeman as well, kind of a toss-up. Altuve and Jeanette, and it could have also been, uh, who, who else was I looking at? Um, Albies, so I'm, but I'm sticking with Scooter. Shortstop, Brandon Crawford and Machado. Third base, Jose Ramirez, Nolan Arenado. Arenado and uh, Suarez was also a pretty tough one. Wilson Ramos and Francisco Cervelli. JD Martinez, of course, for the uh, DH. 
Tra uh, Betts, Trout, and Brantley in the outfield, Marquecas, Herrera, and Kempf in the NL, and there you go. That's my ballot for part one. So I'm gonna go ahead, so I'm gonna go ahead and submit this, and there you guys go. Those are my selections. But let me know if your votes differ from mine. These are what I'm going with. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was kind of a different one, but I think it's gonna be pretty fun. But anyway, guys, drop a thumbs up on it if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.